So why is there a bottle of Prime floating through space? Well, it all started when my fridge broke. Oh! Oh, good. How am I actually going to cool this thing down? Maybe to space! Fire. We send it to space, Nico and Mo did it, and it's freezing in space, so we send it up and it comes back down, so I get a cool beverage. Buy a new fridge. So to send something to space on my own, it wasn't going to be easy. But to put it simply for you lot, I was going to need a giant balloon with a parachute and a bottle of Prime underneath, which would then be sent up into the atmosphere, go from warm to cool, and hopefully go from our launch site in the Midlands all the way down to the south. Obviously there's a lot more maths involved, but that's the general idea. So first, we'd need some supplies. We're sending all this stuff to space. It's gonna be great. It's called uh, SSTS, sending shit to space. Oh. Yeah. Next, I needed to source some helium. I was just wondering if you guys do a uh, helium hire. So after spending nearly 200 pound on air, I ran into my first issue when I got this phone call the day after. Oh, well that's terrible news, but thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> so my only option was to go to a party shop and get as many small helium canisters as I could. Are you sure your bank can handle that? If these don't like the video, then, then yeah, they can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like the video. <laughs> you know, you know KSI. Yeah. yeah so he just brought out a new drink, oh, and we're sending it to space. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, crazy man. We've got to set it off. So finally then came launch day, where I'd need to attach everything together and drive three hours to the launch site to set it off. Don't break it, whatever you do. This is what NASA uses to send... What, fucking duct tape with polystyrene? It, yeah, right? Right, here's the parachute. That is the parachute. Yeah, what's wrong with it? Are you fucking joking? What? So that's like a year six parachute. Oh, Jesus. So it's a big ball leg that the fridge is broken, isn't it? We've got to do all of this just to... I wonder how everyone else does it when their fridge breaks. Yeah, brand new fridge. Brand new... Do what? No, they send it to space. Yeah. I thought... Anyway. Right, that is all in place. The GoPro is going to go on here. I think we're ready to fucking set it off. Yeah! May I remind you, this is what Nico and Mo were using. And this is what I'm using. What could possibly go wrong? It's not like it's going to end up in another country at the end of the video. <clears throat> How do you really think this is going to go? Truthfully speaking, I think it's going to fucking fail drastically. But So with some encouraging words from Batson, we headed to the launch site and set up for takeoff. At the site. No, I'm actually uh, nervous. Imagine it gets like 50 meters in the air and the prime falls off. <laughs> <laughs> this is the balloon. No. Look at the fucking string that's holding the shit up. And that running. is going into space. <laughs> I think that's pretty good. That looks sick. Fair. It's a science project. This is going to space. <laughs> laughing at you. No, it's not laughing with you. With overwhelming support from the public, we filled the balloon with helium. Oh my god! Attached the payload, and we were ready to launch. Welcome to the Kaisha channel, subscribe! I can't believe this is just going to be like flying in space. No, it's going to go up and hit the tree and come back down. <laughs> <laughs> so with our hopes high, it was finally time to set off the only bottle of Prime in the UK into the atmosphere to be cooled by space. Quick. Oh, it is actually starting to wait. Oh my god, are we ready? Yes, yes, yes. Subscribe to the Kaisha channel, we're about to send Prime to space! Three, two, one, go! It's going! It's going! It's going! It's going! <laughs> This is so this perilous. This is fucking terrifying. <laughs> okay, right, we've got to fucking chase it. So now began our chase from one end of the UK all the way down to the other, where, according to my calculations, the Prime was going to land. Okay, so I have an app that we can track where this thing is. We know roughly where it's going to land, but uh, we're going to have to basically follow it on here. We're, we're going to get there at half six as well. We're going to be looking for it in the dark. What, what if we lose it all? What if it goes in the sea? If we lose it all, then it's be about spirit. Yeah. Yeah, because spirit will go. But what if it goes in the sea? So as we were driving towards the predicted landing site, the Prime was already level with the clouds and ascending fast. But because it had gone out of cellular range, the GPS tracker had gone offline, so we could no longer track it until it came back in range. Oh, GPS has just, just went offline. Why has it gone offline? 
Oh, we just don't know what's going on. So the prime was already going off course, and the only thing we had to go off was where the tracker last was. So we headed there. If the tracker's accurate, it looks like it's landed in a tree in a children's play park somewhere. But the problem is, the last known speed of it was 100 miles an hour, and now it's suddenly offline in a children's park. So that has fucking clonked a girl on the head on the roundabout. Run. If it isn't where we think it is on here, and that stays offline, we're gonna have no idea where it is. But meanwhile, high above the clouds, we had finally, finally done it. Logan Paul and KSI's Prime had reached above the clouds and into space. I had made Prime not just worldwide, but universe-wide. <laughs> However, what you just saw was the last time the GoPro was recording as it suddenly stopped recording at the same time that the tracker came back online. It's gone. Oh, wait, it's gone. Wait, 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 wait. It's, it's there. So it has gone to where we thought it was going to go? Yes. Oh, my God. It's in the ocean. No, it's not. No, no. safe. What? The last known location of the Prime was travelling at 70 miles an hour right on the edge of the UK. And we were still two hours away. If that next refresher is just in the middle of the sea, I'm actually going to be devastated. The tracker then went offline again, but we carried on driving with the glimmer of hope that I might be able to retrieve my cold Prime. The issue right now is we're driving somewhere that we don't even know if it's actually going to be there. And we've driven three hours already. True. But all the long driving and trying to stay positive did start to take a toll on one of us. I'm just, I'm just deep to what we're fucking doing. Literally, I've been sat in this back of a car for literally a whole <laughs> fucking day. We're going somewhere for nothing. No, it's gonna be. No, it it's fucking isn't. isn't. It's not gonna fucking be there. It has to be there, and I have to get my cold drink, so it will be there. Once we were literally 10 minutes away from the last known place that the tracker was, and after driving three hours, the tracker then pinged again with the worst possible news. Wait, wait, what's just happened? What's just happened? Bruv, the tracker has literally just sent me a location, which, means, don't tell which me it's means it's back online. Don't tell me it's in France. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, it's in fucking Holland! It's in Belgium. It's in, it's in another country. Bro, it's in Belgium. What do you mean it's in Belgium? Shit, it's in Belgium. Look. <laughs> <laughs> it's in Belgium. No, it's not. Yes, it is. How the fuck has it travelled? How's it gonna country? cross the fucking sea, bro? My prime had managed to go all the way from the far west of England across the sea into mainland Belgium. Obviously, I got a few calculations wrong, but after finding this out, I needed a plan to get it back. Bro, we were so fucking close. <laughs> we have to go to Belgium. I'm not being funny, we actually do have to go to Belgium. So, thanks to my dad agreeing to drive, we travelled eight hours all the way from London, across the Euro Tunnel, through France, into Belgium, in the hopes that I would be able to retrieve my prime and finally get hydrated. So everyone comment below, Chris is the fucking goat. You're gonna find it? If not, I'm leaving you here. It's literally up there. We are in the middle of nowhere, to be fair. I cannot afford to lose, lose this at all. Oh, We're literally 600 metres away, it literally says, is up here and I finally get my cold beverage. Uh, <gasps> no, no way. No fucking way. No way. No way. <laughs> oh my God. That is so good. Oh my God. No fucking way. It's literally the prime. <laughs> no way. I've not been hydrated for days because of this. Finally, I get my fucking cold beverage. Mm, that's stunning. Who needs fridges? Am I right? We're trying to hit 100k this year on the fucking Kaiser channel. We've driven to fucking Belgium because my fridge broke. So, uh, subscribe.